Hello and welcome back to Okage, Shadow King, and Madrill. And this okay, lady... I was gonna make a joke where I immediately say I have to go, but the volume was all the way up. And it yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what happened to us on part me. one too. <laughs> it, it distracted me enough to not make the joke. <laughs> yeah, uh, my my first intro of this session was oh, co wow, welcome back to Kai. Okay. The value was all the way up. Uh, so the gypsy fortune tellers is how you can see who you're most compatible with at the moment, um, so that you're not completely blindsided at the end. Anyway, I have a story. There are visual aids for this story. I am going to have to edit them in. So. Here in Chicagoland, it has been very cold recently, and we had a lot of snow. Like, literally, at least 12 inches of snow, total. I want to say two feet, but that feels like exaggerating, even though the snow in our front yard got really goddamn high. So, <laughs> now, we have a fridge in our garage, and in that fridge, we mostly just have beverages, because we know that when it gets cold enough, the fridge stops working. Because it's too- it can't make it colder, because it's colder outside than it could ever be in the fridge. So, right. the stuff in the fridge freezes. And then I went out there one day to get almond milk, and for the record, when almond milk freezes, it's disgusting. <laughs> It, it never goes back to the way it's supposed to be. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> um, and I saw this! The visual age to be here. The, the exploding ice slushy. Also, Beautiful. talking about the game, the ex-evil chairman, uh, king of chairman? <laughs> His name has changed oh. again. Oh, he's uh, still here. Great, I can make <laughs> the stupid joke. Go for it. Oh, we're just dip playing two games at the same time that have the same joke. <laughs> we're playing, we're, we're doing Omori. And, and Captain Space Boy's name changes every time you see him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he changed, his changes a lot. <laughs> uh, but now he's no longer an evil king, but he's a chairman again. Because before, he was the ex-former evil king, chairman evil king. <laughs> And, and Space Boy is no longer. He's no longer Space Boy. is no longer Space Boyfriend. He is now Space X Boyfriend. Well, now he's back to Space Boy. That's Captain true. Space Boy. That's true. But Ariel, at the risk of spoiling that game for you, it will change more than one more time. Oh no! <laughs> It's okay, we get a boss later in this game that actually acknowledges when his name changes. <laughs> actually, I think one of the previous ones may have too. Anyway, the story. So I come out there and there's that ice slush everywhere. And then I see one of my energy drinks has exploded. It's the second picture. It has frozen and then exploded. I do not know where the top of the can is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> Uh -oh. Ariel, that's, that's not an explosion. It just disintegrated. <laughs> so, I want you to guess what brand energy drink. Well, it's in a can, so that makes it really hard. Yes. I have to guess Rockstar or Monster. Then I will say no. There is a layer of irony to what brand exploded. Uh, the Explodey brand. Did the explosion give the top of the can wings? <laughs> It's Red Bull. It is! See more <laughs> energy! <laughs> On top of that, the flavor is Frozen Bombsicle. Oh. <laughs> so, I, I was warned! They warned me! <laughs> I honestly... Yeah, Ariel, this just seems like it's your fault. I, I know! Like, I just should have been expecting it. They, they told me it was Frozen Bombsicle. I didn't think they were being literal. If you freeze it, it explodes. Oh no! Oh yeah, Brian. Now we're gonna get a shitload God. of Linda. Damn it. Because... Yo, yo. Though, this reminds me of a very similar thing that happened to me, only... <laughs> so, I had, um, like, 
flavored carbonated water in my car. And I just like left it in there and got it from Target one day and I forgot to take it out of my car, right? And it was really cold that, that year. So one year I, I, I'm driving, I'm like driving out of a gas station and I hear a massive like pop. And I thought like a, a chunk of ice like fell onto my car, but there was nothing above me. So that couldn't have been it. And, and then I just decided, you know, I'm just gonna ignore this. Like I looked at my car and the outside, there was no damage, so I'm just gonna... And then it happened again when I was driving. So, of course, my assumption was, Oh my god, someone's shooting at me! So I started driving in serpentine patterns! Uh, I, I, I was gonna make a race joke, but I'm not going to. But then I looked back and I saw the, the floor of my car covered in... In slush, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Did you throw the rest of them out the window? <laughs> I, I I kept the ones that hadn't exploded. <laughs> five and you there. kept them in your car so they could explode another day? <laughs> no. No, I removed them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what's even the point? I mean, like, you know, just, just I'm just glad that didn't happen to be on, like, the highway or something. <laughs> I probably would. Because I can drive evasively, okay? I can evade! If there's anything I can do, I might end up in a ditch, but I will have a beat in you! <laughs> so, uh, talk about the game for a second. Uh, Linda and Marlene were just having an argument over, uh, us. And Marlene has just stormed off upset. What was the argument over? This game is an anime. It literally <laughs> is, yes. <laughs> fighting over her affection? Like, Yo, what? what? Because Yo, she's okay. like, don't call my coach your servant. And she's like, what do you mean your coach? It's my servant. <laughs> I have a story for you guys now. See, this is, just what the part, this is just what the part's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, since we were talking about harems... <laughs> in high school were we? <laughs> that we brought it up <laughs> to who? We, we, we said we, oh, oh, oh. no we said this is like other anime when there oh. was a girl <coughs> fighting over, with another girl over a boy so it's a harem because that's, that's, what, that's what happens I anyway. think you need more than two girls to be a harem nah that's just what they want you to think and there's technically three here uh, Rosalind doesn't fight over us. Yeah. But she is here. Yeah, but you have to have one that's disinterested, because that's the one they get with them. I mean, we do get her compatibility scene. Spoilers. But it's not really spoilers, because okay. the gypsy has told us Rosalind the story. every time. <laughs> the story. Not the game story, my story. In high school. <laughs> one of my friends... Had a harem. I... But not one he wanted or actively made. It just <laughs> happened to him. He was literally the protagonist of a fucking rom com harem anime. <laughs> How did this happen? They would just show up sometimes and be like, hi! Specifically to him and ignore everyone else. Oh, here it comes! Da. Da, 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 da. Did he do anything about this, or...? No, because he was, he was too much of a nice guy to be like, please leave me alone. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. I mean, he never went out with any of them. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this Linda? <laughs> Ariel. Yes. I almost kicked you from the call. No. <laughs> but then I remembered how hard it is to get you back into the call if I kicked yes. you. Yes. Anyway, now Linda is super popular, and her song is going all the time. Hmm, that's weird. <laughs> Wait, are they under mind control? <laughs> I mean, she's talking about how sexy this teenager is. Okay. Although she definitely, also, definitely all of her bios say that she's 
she won't tell what her age is. And it's very weird, because I just assumed that she was like 16, but she a she has some very uh, weird moments. And I'm just like, okay, if you're 16, this is incredibly inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> but also, the exact kind of thing I would expect from a 16-year-old. So how <laughs> old are you? <laughs> Uh, I, I I wanna know, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, like all of her stuff is like age. It's a secret. Okay. Which to me would also imply that she's like 20 and pretending she's a teen idol. Which I would prefer it to be that, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I mean, that would just be a Gretzko season 3. Yeah. Um, or may maybe shit. she's 5,000. Oh, I have, a, I have a horror story. <laughs> oh god. Oh boy. <laughs> Technically it was just a joke we had. But our group of friends in high school, the ones that hung out- or not high school, college specifically. The ones that hung out the most was me. Actually it was four- four or five girls total. And one guy. <laughs> and he was a very awkward guy. And he did have a crush on at least one of us. He's dating one of them. Still. <laughs> and, um, they just started joking that we were a harem. And I'm just like, I am literally just here. <laughs> They're like, yeah, that's because you're the Sudaria one. And I'm like, I, no, that's I'm not, literally just here! <laughs> that's not how Sudaria works. I mean, I legit am Sudaria, real talk, but yes, in that situation, I, I was just Sundere like... Means. Yes! I am literally <laughs> Sundere. Okay, as much as I hate saying that, Sundere <laughs> is the people who are really, really shitty at expressing when they like someone and just treat them like shit. <laughs> and they well, get super flustered it... and right, are like. I'm, re <laughs> I'm really glad that you hate me and Brian. <laughs> I don't know, she's kinda nice to me sometimes. There's a okay. difference between that's polite and nice. <laughs> and Brian, that's the joke. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, but yeah, that was that was a weird It's Basil! Time. It's not! He's <laughs> he No, he's literally he was obsessed with Maggie. He is the head of the other gang who doesn't know how to talk to Maggie, so he just starts fights with her and then asks her dad if he could go out with her, and then the dad was like, No, nah, fuck you, I hate rich people! Just like Basil. <laughs> <laughs> Brian has no idea what I'm talking about. And also, the sign that it's mind control, aside from the fact that literally everyone is talking about Linda. Uh, is the fact that despite the fact that he's been pursuing Maggie de uh, almost exclusively, all of a sudden he's like, Oh man, I can't stop thinking about Linda. Man, what am I gonna do? I mean, like, I like Maggie, but Linda's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is, is, is Linda an evil king? <laughs> no! What gave you that idea? <laughs> I don't know if there was, like, the real Evil King that was using Linda somehow as, like, a puppet. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, get used to this. <laughs> because not only is it going over the entire time that we're in Madrill, I add it to the dungeon. <laughs> I hate you. Great. <laughs> because I was upset that the also, dungeon... Why, why are you're you going talking to... to everybody? Why am I talking to everyone? Because sometimes they give me random items! But <laughs> they're all just saying how hot Linda is. And also, one of them has to trigger the story progression! It turns out the ones I have to talk to are in the research institute, but I didn't know that because I had to talk to everyone! <laughs> Oh god, the, the, the thought of editing <laughs> sent Ariel into a fit. Oh, uh, trust me, I did cut shit out. Oh no, I know. There we go. Oh. Huh. Because this is me trying to figure out why can't I progress the story? 
Where the fuck is Linda? <laughs> Cause I have to yell at her for doing this shit. <laughs> Okay, follow the sound of her pop song! Her it's pop, everywhere! Pop she legit will up. not show up until you talk to the people at the research institute. Okay, alright. <laughs> Which, of course, I didn't know that! <laughs> <coughs> Ow. So... <sighs> like, are there loudspeakers or something? Like, <laughs> apparently, yes. Yes, because when we go inside uh, buildings, it gets muffled. Yeah, you can't hear the lyrics anymore. Even though the lyrics are just. I mean, they might not be in Japanese. Uh, no, on the soundtrack, it's exactly the same. Oh, no, yeah, but I meant, like, her text box could be actual lyrics. No, I mean, I can find out. Yeah. Come here, Japanese guide. <sighs> Let's see. Why do you have a Japanese guide book? Well, Brian and I had that conversation, so I'm not going to subject <laughs> the viewers to that again. But mostly it's for that video I'm trying to make, but it has... Almost nothing to help me with that. It doesn't even have, like, extra arts. Which is weird. Although the maps in the Japanese version are better than the maps in the Prima Guide. I mean, I don't trust Prima Guides at all. Oh, I will tell you They the said Cream debuted in Sonic CD in the Sonic Generations guide. <laughs> so, do you remember how the sixth cipher test text is not solvable in English because it's a Japanese pun. Yes, you told me that. Yes, the Prima guide for that cipher says, we don't know how the hell you're supposed to solve this, but just go to the church. Paraphrase, but basically. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, where the hell is meeting Linda from? Where is the part where Linda fucking sings? For the first time. Oh no, that's them arguing. That's the part of the game we're at right now. <laughs> Ow. And there it is. I forgot. Wait, he can phase through. <laughs> He's magic. Also, I don't think I was supposed to trigger this at this exact point in the game. <laughs> Great! We have so to do this song longer. The Linda okay. music going in the background is kind of interesting. Okay, but did it break the game like when we did, did that not. in Snake Wood? <laughs> it's just very confusing because it doesn't come back up for a while because I don't follow up on it. Oh. <laughs> And then I accidentally do, and then I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't show. It just shows us talking to her and giving her, um... What she called it? Giving her the advice box. It doesn't show her actually singing. <laughs> Ugh. Well, that's unfortunate. That's what my mom said when I was born. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you knew I was coming! Oh, for the record, for the record, <laughs> this guy just has fucking Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> this whole game, he's like, why are you people, like... Why are you people so obsessed with gears? This is weird. And he's like, mm, I've started to figure out how the how they're doing this. And then he's like, you know what? I love gears too now. <laughs> That's just an acquired taste for gears. <laughs> anyway, this person sung that she's the best evil king. This is what progresses the plot. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the best, strongest, angelic, evil king. It's like, well, yeah, they, they said it. 
They said the words. She's like, it can't be. What the fuck? She's it cute. Can't she be. can't be. Really? Oh. After everything you've seen, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> I mean, Brian, that's a pretty big leap of logic. Maybe yeah, everyone but wait. just... Everyone just realized how hot Linda is. <laughs> <laughs> Literally everyone in town at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Haven't you ever heard of mass hysteria? I mean, yes, but... I know. I, I guess. <laughs> Linda, she's not even an evil king, and she has horns. <laughs> I want horns, too! <laughs> <laughs> Slam it into your Did head. He... Ah, stick. Are those not horns? No. <laughs> what are they? Um, I always imagined him as like a cat shadow. <laughs> Is he Disgusting. a cat person? <laughs> no. But he does have pointy ears. <laughs> I uh, okay. <laughs> she's like, okay. anyway, if she is an evil king, she's doing it wrong. God. These <laughs> fangs bother me. Mostly because I'm staring at them now. Yeah. <laughs> that, his, his Why are there weird. just two on each side? Because he doesn't have to eat. What does it matter? <laughs> it just looks are weird you from sure a design about that? standpoint. Hey, there she is. Now we can yell at her. <laughs> Stop singing! <laughs> She's like, oh boy, look, everyone loves me now. Isn't it great? They're like, um... <laughs> No, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, so no, it's fine. Face. They're brainwashed. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm an evil king. And my dialogue <laughs> option is the best. Hang on. Here it comes. <laughs> hang on. A klutz like you. Hang <laughs> uh, on, wait for the green box. Yeah, I'm a great evil king now. Thanks to you! <laughs> wait, what? Oh wait, no, not this box. Did I miss it already? No, it might be slightly after this. It might be when they walk away and they're like, I can't believe she's an evil king! Because <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. She's like, oh no, there she goes! She's not that fast! If we just chase her now! Uh. She's an evil king, she's gonna be going Brian, to some underground you were there when we did place. Lost World, that's not an option. <laughs> <laughs> not even for the fastest thing alive. Uh, I was too hey, slow slave. to save my buddy. <laughs> it's like, well, of course you're in shock. The girl you thought was cute was actually an evil king. Why didn't the horns tip me off? <laughs> so stupid, but I think it's hilarious. Okay. Does, does anyone who, who... Okay, but he uh, has horns. He was also an evil king. You just missed that part. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I don't believe you. If I wasn't there, it didn't happen. He literally <laughs> was just big bull evil king. He doesn't Whenever have an you guys title. aren't in, within <laughs> my ear space, <laughs> I, you, you just stop existing. Oh, here's my hell. Brian. Alright. There's this part two now. Okay. The tortoise believed the pebble was its baby and put it in a prominent place. God damn it! It lived like before by the river, looking for food. The pebble was puzzled to be in this unexpected situation, but it didn't do anything, because it's a pebble. Well, the tortoise believed it was a baby so strongly that nobody would say anything, even though they were not pebbles. Meanwhile, the baby tortoise was sleeping away at the edge of the area. After a while, the baby woke up and headed home, but when it got there, it saw the tortoise calling the pebble baby, and then the baby tortoise couldn't come out. Instead, it just watched and hid at the edge of the area, because outside the area was unknown and scary. Then after a while, oh no, <laughs> that's too funny! Can't tell you the rest of it! I, I just... Do it, we have to? It makes... We can leave now and never come back! It's gonna be so easy! <laughs> it makes sense later, I promise. Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> Some time passed, the tortoise continued to level with the pebble as if it was her baby. One day, a red turtle came to visit. The tortoise re welcomed the red turtle and introduced her family. If it's about the pebble, she goes, It's my baby. 
The red turtle was shocked. He was like, huh? How could a tortoise give birth to a pebble? So nobody had said anything, <laughs> but the red turtle dared to speak up. Your baby is nothing but a pebble, he said to her. It's common sense, but it still took guts for him to say it. The shocking statement triggered a long silence. Then the tortoise breaks up. The tortoise laughs and goes, Excuse me, Red Turtle. Why are you talking about calling my ch baby a pebble? Look at my baby, Red Turtle. My baby has listened to our, red our conversation. It doesn't say that it is not my baby. <laughs> red Turtle thought, Of course it doesn't, because it's a pebble. <laughs> and it, but it gives up and doesn't say anything. The pebble thought too. Of course I don't, because I'm a pebble. Because <laughs> it's a pebble. <laughs> Red turtle couldn't say anything. Besides, the tortoise continued. If I acknowledge it, then it sounds like I'm a fool. <laughs> the red turtle's in trouble uh, because he, <laughs> you, <laughs> oh, man, I can't. You're gonna have to come back later. This, what? That part <laughs> is the bane of my existence because part four of the story. Mm, let's just say there is a reason why it takes a while to get to it, and I had to look it up and go out of my way to find the find it. And there is an in-game explanation for why. <laughs> But I can't say it now, because we haven't gotten to the part where the plot goes from zero to a hundred. So tune in right. for when the right. plot actually starts. 